Welcome back to Friday Beyond Spotlight. Our guest today is Dr. Sunny Chai. Well, um, who is Sunny Chai beyond the spotlights? We have invited Sunny Chai to bring along an item uh, that reminds him of a principal or a, a special place or point in time in his career. Sunny? Yeah, thank you, Nick. I brought along with me uh, two photos uh, of products uh, that we de developed. Uh, I'm sure you have heard of uh, the connected scale, IOT scales, yes, yes. that measures your, your weight, your body fat, and uh, uh, keep track of, of these uh, numbers on your uh, uh, IOT or Android devices. But imagine uh, the similar device was developed 21 years ago. Wow. Okay. Uh, so we didn't have uh, 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 iOS or Android. So what we did is uh, we used a, a device, a, a personal uh, a data, data assistant, mm. a PDA. Mm. Uh, actually, it's a, a, it's a palm brace uh, PDA. Uh, oh. It's the same right. uh, with a Dragon Ball CPU uh, 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 inside. Wow. So uh, it also has their own app and uh, transfer the, the scout data via uh, the uh, infrared device uh, to the unit here. If we look at uh, these two products, the evolution of them uh, in the year 2000 up to today, uh, the same story uh, can happen to uh, uh, many uh, industrialists uh, in the 50s or 60s that came up with many uh, outstanding innovative products that we are still using today, such as uh, 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 some of the uh, electrical appliances or uh, shavers. Okay, that when they came out uh, in, in the last century, we thought it's an astonishing uh, 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 item. So for young industrialists, you just have to keep trying and look to the future. Without the, 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 the operating system we have today on our mobile phones, so we have something similar. So uh, I didn't get a, a Guinness record on this, but I can tell you this is definitely the first connected scale in the world that was developed in the uh, two, year 2000. That's impressive. Yeah. You make us proud. And you actually make these, don't you? Yeah, we, did, we, do, we do. And you are the largest scale maker in the world. We are more comprehensive now because we, we are not just making consumer scale. Mm. We, are, we are more in industrial way now. And I think our buses going through the Hong Kong Harbor Tunnel uses uh, your scale. There, there was a truck scale there as well. <laughs> yeah. Pretty impressive. I, I see in your shirt, you said, I, I am industrialist. Um, what are the principles, core values as an industrialist? Whether you are a first generation or second generation, uh, to run a factory or being an industrialist, you have to be very, very committed. Mm. Because in, 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 in not just today, I mean, in the old days with our R&Ds, uh, without the fundings we have like, like uh, today, there are so many trial and errors. So if you get upset and discouraged when, we hit, when you hit something that you didn't like and you gave up, so that's all. I mean, that's, that's, that, that you could call it for the, the, the history and, mm. and ended it. But if you keep trying and go on and commit to a target, uh, that's why a lot of our industrialists in Hong Kong you know, being the number one uh, manufacturers in their area in the world. Wow. Yeah. So be committed is yes, the key. Yes, be committed. Be committed. Well, as we reflect on the past, introspectively look at where we are today, engage into the future, what does the future hold uh, for Hong Kong through to 2047 and beyond? The, uh, the, the policy address came out October last year. So uh, uh, there, hopefully there are lots of new things coming in the next 10 years, I mean, uh, such as the Northern Metropolis, uh, the, the new uh, big piece of uh, reclaimed area in, in, in a nearby Science Park, uh, the development, the further development of Hong Kong INT uh, as an international hub, and, and throughout 2047, and uh, my feeling is a stability, and the stability for Hong Kong to continue to do business and continue to do INT is the, is the key thing. 
May I invite you to share a few words, your tips from your heart uh, with the young generation? Uh, my key word is commitment. Uh, when, when you are committed uh, to do a change, then you have, com you have to commit to continue, no matter uh, how many times you fail. So this is the key. Uh, Sunny, um, can I invite you to uh, share an item that perhaps uh, reminds you of a turning point in your life? Yep, sure, Nick. A, uh, this is the trophy uh, I got uh, uh, when, when I got the 2000 for uh, Yang Industrialist Award. And the reason why I, I, I would think this is a turning point uh, for myself is because uh, when I apply for this uh, award, uh, in my portfolio, I didn't serve uh, uh, the industry at all. I didn't. Uh, I joined the associations, but I don't don't serve in the committees or I don't serve uh, any government uh, uh, bodies. Uh, so my public service was almost zero when I applied for this award, and I was actually asked by the judge, one of the judges, uh, that uh, my my uh, uh, portion in public services was empty. So uh, my answer at the uh, judging panel was, uh, uh, I said, uh, if I uh, would get the award, I would commit to serve the public and serve the industry association. And I think that's how and where I start all my public services from 2004. That's most memorable. Yes. And what would you say to people um, who have the heart and interest to serve the public? I think, uh, first of all, uh, you need to uh, choose what you are really interested in. Uh, for example, for myself, I start serving, my first uh, 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 service uh, did for the industry, uh, besides uh, the, the federation uh, for the government, was serving at the, uh, the, as the Board of Estuary, uh, uh, Applied Science and Technology Research Institute, uh, which is one of the R&D centers in Hong Kong. And I was young. I was, uh, I think, I was 37. Uh, I was among uh, the youngest board member at that moment in 2006. So I think first of all, you need to pick uh, the area that you are really interested in. Otherwise, uh, it's very hard to continue. And so I, I guess I was lucky, and I picked the area I like, and I learned a lot in these uh, uh, different entities. And uh, so I, I continue with two and three other jobs uh, in the uh, uh, Innovation and Technology Commission, and up to now at, with uh, Science Park. And I see you have been pointing and looking at my jacket a lot. <laughs> yes, uh, green with envy. Green with the, the logo, yes. uh, uh, the Federation logo, yes. and I'm industrialist. Even though you are not an industrialist yourself, well, I would love you uh, to have a jacket for kind. you. Okay, Nick. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Chai, thank you. I am industrialist. Yes. Well, can I invite you to uh, share with uh, our international business audience uh, your well wishes for Hong Kong? So I hope in the coming days, uh, the pandemic situation will be improved and we can over overcome uh, COVID-19 and we keep our borders open everywhere. Well, thank you, Sunny. Um, that's wonderful. Well, Sunny, can we get personal and fire you some rapid questions? Sure, sure. What is your favorite color? Uh, black. Ice cream flavor? Rum raisin. Favorite drink? Beer. <laughs> favorite spot? Sailing. Your favorite place to bring uh, visitors to Hong Kong? Uh, Science Park. Your favorite type of music? Uh, jazz music. Childhood game? Manufacturing. <laughs> Your hidden talent? Nothing. Last book you've read? Uh, Hong Kong Industrialist. The biggest misconception about you? that I'm very hardworking. But you are. <laughs> uh, depends. <laughs> <laughs> your proudest moment? Birth of my children. Qualities you admire most about your parents? Uh, very hardworking. Your dream job? Uh, the chairman of the federation. You're already living a dream? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, what advice would you give to your younger self? Uh, keep on trying and uh, to commit. Um, Sunny, where's your favorite place to eat? Anywhere with my friends and family. What is the best compliment you've heard? I'm, I've lost weight. You have? Uh, I did. 
Thank you, Sunny. Thank you, Nate. Thank you for joining Friday Beyond Spotlight. Be well. Sunny is an industrialist's industrialist. He's leading the way to strengthen research to industry and transform the industrial community to be more innovative. And successful as the industrialization 4.0 takes place around the world. And he looks good in green. He does. Thank you for watching Friday Beyond Spotlights. Until next time, goodbye.